So you've opened up your Lockinox LU lock mortise cylinder here for the US market and inside you will find either a lock in the black or the silver with accompanying matching black or silver handles, a set of our instructions, the drilling template, a 3mm Allen key and bolt cover caps, as well as two cylinders and sets of keys. This is why today we're going to go over how to install those into the lock. Now that we've shown you the contents of the box, we're ready to go ahead and swap out or change our cylinders as needed. A couple of crucial details before we get going though. You will need a traditional 1 and 1 8 mortise cylinder, just like you see here. The face of the cylinder is going to look something like this, but the back absolutely has to look like this. This is an Adams Wright cam tailpiece. This is essential in order for it to correctly work in conjunction with our lock. This is what's ultimately engaging the deadbolt or the strike. So once again, a traditional 1 and 1 8 mortise cylinder with Adams right cam is necessary in order to pair with the lock. Uh, whenever you're opening up the box, you will find that there are two cylinders in there if you've ordered it with cylinders, each with two sets of keys for four keys total. The other thing you will need as a handy tool in order to get started is a flathead screwdriver so that you can go ahead and back off our set screws that have pinned our cylinders in place. We've already gone ahead and taken the liberty to move these screws out just to make my life a little simpler here on camera. And once you've removed those, you can go ahead and you will easily be able to turn this out by hand, just like you see here. Very simple, very straightforward, requires very little force. If you need just a little extra leverage in case the cylinder is getting hung up on the threads, you can actually take a set of the keys, drop those in there just about halfway, and this will give you a little extra leverage just in case if it's getting hung up. Also useful for when you're reinstalling the cylinders again and it will go ahead and turn out just like that. So this is how it's actually going to look right out of the box. You'll find it, we're gonna remove our little bolt cover caps that are over our deadbolt so we can get those out of the way. And you'll find that the deadbolt is currently in the retractor position, but we're gonna need that extended. So we've started one of these in the process here just to make this a little bit simpler for purposes. We've got one of our cylinders already put in because you'll just need to get one of these down just a finger tight so that we can go ahead and get that extended because now everything's in the correct position so that we can line everything up for timing purposes. So now that we've got that in place, I'm gonna show you on this one how we're gonna install one of the cylinders. And it's really quite simple. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop the cylinder in here and we just need to get this finger tight. We don't need to put a ton of effort onto it. We just wanna spin this down until we get it in the right position. And ultimately, we want our cylinder at our 12 o'clock position just like that. So it's pointed straight up towards where the handles are gonna be placed, very simple. And then once we've got that, we're gonna go ahead, all you need is a small flathead screwdriver and you can tighten up the set screws here because that'll go ahead and pin the cylinders in place so they don't move around on you. Very important to get those in once we've got that in there. Now we've gone ahead and completed one so that you can see once everything is in place, we can now put our keys in and we can make sure that everything is in working order. Obviously our deadbolt will extend and retract and also with all Lockadox locks, the keys also operate the latch tip. So we can see here that our latch tip is retracting, our deadbolt's extending, everything is in the right position. So as I mentioned, very straightforward, very simple process. We're gonna go ahead and turn that down, just finger tight, tighten up our two little set screws and everything is ready to go. Thank you so much for joining us here at Lock and Ox. You can find out more information on our website, lockandoxusa.com, or you can call us at 877-LOCK-AND-OX. Thank you.